Mohsen Fakhri said, Iran blames Israel for killing top scientist. Iran's president has blamed Israel for the killing of a top nuclear scientist on Friday, and said it would not slow down the country's nuclear program. Hassan Rouhani also said Iran would retaliate over Mohsen Fakhri Zaid's killing at a time of its choosing. Fakhri Zaid was killed in an ambush on his car by gunmen in the town of Abzard, east of the capital Tehran. Israel has not commented, but it has previously accused him of being behind a covert nuclear weapons program. Fakhri Zaid was Iran's most renowned nuclear scientist, who headed the Ministry of Defense's Research and Innovation Organization. His killing threatens to escalate tensions over Iran's nuclear program with the U.S. and its close ally Israel. How has Iran reacted? President Rouhani said on Saturday his country would respond in due course but that fake Rizade's killing would not push Iran into making hasty decisions. Iran's enemies should know that the people of Iran and officials are braver than to leave this criminal act unanswered, he said in a televised cabinet meeting. In due time, they will answer for this crime, he added. In an earlier statement, the president accused the, the mercenaries of the oppressive Zionist regime, referring to Israel, of being behind the attack. The assassination of martyr Fakhri Zaid shows our enemies' despair and the depth of their hatred. His martyrdom will not slow down our achievements. Iran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei also called for the punishing of the perpetrators of the attack and those who commanded it, in a tweet on Saturday. His military advisor, Hussein Dahan, had earlier vowed to strike the attackers like thunder. There has been no comment from Israel on the killing. The New York Times quotes three U.S. officials, including two intelligence officials, as saying Israel was behind the attack. Fake Rizade's name was specifically mentioned in Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's presentation about Iran's nuclear program in April 2018. Israeli embassies around the world have been placed on high alert, according to Israel's N12 News website on Saturday. Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif called on the international community to condemn this act of state terror. What's the context? News of the killing comes amid fresh concern about the increased amount of enriched uranium that Iran is producing. Enriched uranium is a vital component for both civil nuclear power generation and military nuclear weapons. A 2015 deal with six world powers had placed limits on Iran's production of enriched uranium, but since US President Donald Trump abandoned the deal in 2018, Iran has been deliberately reneging on its agreements. However, it insists its nuclear program is exclusively for peaceful purposes. Joe Biden has pledged to re-engage with Iran when he becomes U.S. president in January, despite long-standing opposition from Israel. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment. See you in next video. Stay tuned.